Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can tell by today's title, I will be giving you guys a very much flat iron test on these Baby Bliss Pro flat irons, y'all. I finally copped some. We finna get this silky. I'm saying like silky. I will also be doing a one month update on this Brazilian body wave I see here. And just telling you guys, you know, some pros and cons and if you should buy this hair or not. But before you get to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for post notifications to be notified whenever I post. Now let's get to it. I don't think they was focusing, but this is how the flat irons look. These are some Baby Bliss Pros flat irons, and they are one and three fourths plate width. So, you know, this is one and three fourths. Are they heating up? And I got these on 300. As y'all can see, I don't think y'all can see that, but it say 300 right there. Guys, no, actually, I'm going to give my one month update while these heat up. So, as you guys know, this is some IC Brazilian Body Wave here. I bought this off AliExpress. I have one closure and three bundles. Uh, 20 inch closure, 22, 24, and 26 inch bundles. And I had this here in my hair for about a month now. And this is just how it's looking. And I did apply my lace with Boho Active. So my lace is still not going nowhere for real. And every night I wrap my hair up with an elastic band. And I put two scarves on and a bonnet. And when I take a shower or a bath, I always wrap my hair up in a plastic bag. No, first, you know, I put my um, elastic band on, two scarves, bonnet. And then I wrap my hair up in a plastic bag. So none of that heat could get on my um on my lace and make it lift up well i'm gonna start off with the pros this hair is very nice it don't get stiff at all it's just it's true to length like i'm so sure i'm gonna have to but yeah it's very true to length it's really good quality hair overall the only couple things that i would say that's wrong with this hair is that it's very thin like this is a closure and three bundles like this look like two bundles like this is very thin and it do shed it don't shed a lot, but I don't know, like, like all hair shed. So, like, it's just really thin, and it's, like, the ends. I didn't cut them, but it's, like, janky looking or whatever. Yeah, this is some really nice hair other than the fact that it's thin. So, if you're trying to get a closure or frontal with some bundles, I would suggest getting four bundles and your closure or frontal or whatever you prefer. But next time I order this hair, I'm definitely getting four bundles because, y'all, this hair then got so thin and I only had it in for a month. That is one of the only bad things I have to say about this hair is that it, like, it's very thin. Like, when I first started, it wasn't as thin, but it was thin. So, yeah, if you're trying to get any type of wig made or closure sewing or whatever you get, just get four bundles of this hair. What is, well, I don't know about the straight or kinky curly or whatever. I'm just having a Brazilian body wave, but I would, suggest, I would suggest getting four bundles instead of three. Because, yeah, next time I order this hair, I'm definitely getting four bundles. I would say the good I weigh the bad. Yeah, but this hair does hold a good curl. And I'm just doing the flat iron test today with my Baby Bliss Pro flat iron. I've heard real good things about these flat irons, so I'm going to see, you know, how they is. Also, one thing about me, when I have like sew-ins and stuff in, I don't like to put a lot of products in the hair because that's just doing too much. And let me show y'all what I use to lay my edges down. I had used this Eco Style um, Argan Oil to lay my edges down. But when I tell y'all, if y'all got some weaving y'all here and y'all trying to lay y'all edges down, when I tell y'all, because I'm not the type of person that like the soft baby hairs, I like mass to stick to my, my face or whatever because, um, I do work and I be sweating. So, y'all, the other day I went to work, right? I had did my edges real, real cute. And y'all, when I tell y'all, they did not move. So, I didn't even have to go in with the, um, with the, um, spray in the yellow can. What is it called? Got to be glue spray. I didn't have to even go in with that, y'all. So, I would definitely invest in some eco styling gel for you, when you do your edges because... Yeah, I'm putting y'all on game. Cause, Cause I usually when I uh when I had did my um frontal sewing with my white young hair, I'm gonna link that in the card somewhere. Um what happened? 
I had done my edges with some eco styling gel and then like like the hair was like sticking together and I didn't like that. Now it looks um cute and it just looked better like this. So when y'all doing y'all edges, make sure y'all get some eco styling gel. And at first I was using jam, but y'all, when I tell y'all jam turned straight to grease, like it matters a second. I was like, uh uh, I gotta go give me some gel. I can't do this. But like gel don't really and my hair really don't go, but this is not my real hair, so I don't really care. I can slick these edges. I just want my edges slick. So y'all want your edges edges slick too? Go get y'all some eco styling gel. No matter what brand, I mean no matter what. Um, it has in it, it's gonna work. I'm telling you. I was gonna do the chase method, but I can't find my right tail comb, so we just gonna be thugging it with this wig brush. Yeah, we just gonna be thugging it with this wig brush. And first, I'm gonna start with the bottom of my hair. Brush the hair out, go from the end to root, brush it out. And you wanna make sure that it's not too much hair. So, if y'all see me looking over here, I'm looking in my mirror, so I'm going to burn myself. So, you get the uh, flanners, they on 300. Okay, so you want to start. I'm going to do the chase mesh method with this brush. I know y'all see that, baby. We get it somewhere, y'all. We get it somewhere. So, once again, you want to get the piece of hair comb from end to root. Yeah, end to root. And get that flat iron on there. And you want to brush and follow it. Y'all, I, I can honestly slay. It's getting straight, like, girl, you do two passes, girl. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm halfway done with my hair, and this is the side that I flan it with, and this is the side that I didn't even touch yet. Y'all, look at this volume. Like, y'all, go get y'all some Baby Bliss Pro Nano Titanium flan right now. I'm, I promise y'all, y'all won't be disappointed. <laughs> As you guys can see, this was a success. As you guys can see, this was a success. It's not well. It is straight. It's a little. It's a little hump. Like as many times I did go over, it was still a hump. But I can say that this is, you know, good body wave hair. So of course it'd be, you know, not silky, silky straight, but it's straight. So it's to my liking, and I like it. So. Yeah, I would really recommend these Baby Bliss Pro flat irons. Like I said, this is not a sponsored video. I bought these flat irons with my own money. Yes, yeah, with my own cha-ching. So, yeah, my opinion is not bought in. And yeah, I bought these straight off Amazon, you know. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend these. So, I know y'all see it.
definitely recommend these flat irons. Go get them. Go cop them. They're going to be in the description box below. Ooh, lip gloss check. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my one month update on this. This icy Brazilian body wave here. And, you know, this flat iron test on these Baby Bliss Pro Nano Titanium flat irons. Y'all, these will be linked down in the, in the description box. And yeah, as well as the hair. And I will have the hair video and, you know, the install and the hair review. My initial hair review and the cards it's gonna pop up one of the corners so yeah y'all thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell for post notifications to be notified whenever i post don't forget to follow me on instagram at am.kyla that's two eyes am.kyla don't forget to add me on snapchat at kyla underscore mone that's k-y-l-a underscore m-o-n-a-e love you guys so much Mwah. happy new year and remember, just because it's a new year, don't mean it's got to be a new you. It can be a new year still reconstructing the best version of yourself. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do nothing. You can do what you put your mind to. And remember that. We're some young black queens, okay? I love you guys so much. Until next time.